Hi, this is Randy Rolf, and I often get the question of why take food supplements? Why should nutritional supplements be part of your food budget? And it's actually true that over 70% of Americans do take some kind of nutritional supplement every day, but uh, you may need to take more than just uh, a one a day because you can't fit what you pr probably need into one capsule or one pill per day. Uh, I've been taking supplements for the past 50 years and I'm not going to stop. It's just part of my regular food budget because it keeps me at optimal health. And so I want to share today exactly all the different reasons why to take nutritional supplements. And most people don't realize all of them. So let me share my screen briefly and share all these reasons. So the first is depleted soils. And when I started in the 70s, uh, they already were talking about depleted soils. Now it's ridiculous. I often say that Popeye would not get strong taking spinach from a commercial farming field because there's not enough iron in it. They're using artificial fertilizers that don't restore the natural minerals and vitamins that are in the soil. So depleted soils. The second is that processed foods they, when they take the germ and the bran off a wheat berry, the fiber's gone. A lot of the, vib the vitamins, the minerals uh, are missing. And any of the live enzymes, of course, when you cook anything, the enzymes are destroyed. So processed foods are lacking a huge amount of the nutritionals. And yet the starch or the sugar factors need all of those things to be properly used by the body. Uh, minimum requirements. You may think you're getting the RDAs, but they're based on the average person, the average healthy person eating 2,000 calories a day and then showing no clinical signs of deficiency. That doesn't mean it's for optimal nutrition. So um, you, you may well need more than the RDAs. Also, we uh, live sedentary lives compared to our ancestors a thousand or two thousand, ten thousand years ago. But most of our systems still need those micronutrients that we would supplement with. There's also a lack of food variety. There are basically four different foods that almost everything's made out of today soy, corn, wheat, and milk products. So um, we're lacking the kind of variety that we would get if we were out uh, even living on a farm or foraging in the forest. Uh, also individuality, biochemical individuality has shown that some people need 10 times as much or even more of certain nutrients, particularly B vitamins, uh, fiber, things like that, that uh, we need more of, maybe zinc. Um, and also there's more toxins in our environment than there ever have been before. It's in our air, water, food, drugs, skincare products, household products, cleaners, clothing, furniture, floor, uh, are all giving out toxins. And so we need to be constantly detoxifying and many of the vitamins and minerals and other things you supplement with herbs are very important for getting rid of these toxins that are invading our bodies. Chronic stress. Uh, we have a kind of stress 24 seven these days that humans have never actually been exposed to, plus the toxins cause stress in themselves. And we need higher amounts of A and zinc and vitamin C and some of the B vitamins, um, at least those uh, to deal with chronic stress. The adrenal glands that control our stress response store away vitamin C uh, and it's water soluble. So it doesn't stay in the body unless the adrenal glands can pull it in and save it. Also illness and aging can compromise our digestion and absorption and utilization processes. So you may need extra compared to what you just uh, eat in your diet. And finally, um, the microbiome, we're just learning that in Western medicine, it's been very important in Asian medicine for uh, centuries, um, but uh, the burden of stress and processed foods and toxins on our liver 
and the brain and the gut bacteria are causing uh, most of the degenerative conditions today that are affecting us so much earlier than they did 50 years ago or 100 years ago. So those are all the reasons we need to supplement. So um, I always want to remind people that you can go after some exotic herb that you read about online or something, but the basics, start with the basics, A, B, C, D, E, fatty acids, um, basic minerals, like calcium, magnesium, um, boron, zinc, um, and just start with the basics because you may need more of those and you might not have a problem that says, oh, I need this exotic herb to fix this problem. So that's uh, what I want to share about uh, nutritional supplements and it should be part of your budget. Don't go for the cheapest because those, those are gonna be lab formulated and they're not gonna be with the, the things that make it more absorbable and more utilizable. Um, go for premium and take them regularly and treat them as part of your diet. They're not medications, they are nutritional supplements. I like to call them food supplements. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Let me stop my share here. There it is. Thank you, Mandy from the Institute for Creative Solutions. And I have a Facebook um, page called Vibrant Health Through Natural Living where this shows up and it's also on my YouTube channel. So please follow and subscribe. Uh, and um, get on my email list because I'm sending out good stuff on email all the time about healthy family and nutrition. Thanks.